Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a crossover cable. I will show you the exact wiring diagram, and I will explain what a crossover cable is used for. Next, on the Ultimate Tech Hub. So guys, today I want to show you how to make the elusive crossover cable. It's probably the least used and least understood cable in networking. I call it the stepdad of network cables. <laughs> Uh, However, this cable is very important, and you should always have one in your network toolbox. So first, what is a crossover cable? A crossover cable is used to connect like devices. For instance, connecting two computers through their network interface controllers, connecting two switches, or connecting two routers. So what makes the crossover cable different than the typical straight-through cable. Well, a straight-through cable, also known as a patch cable, will have both ends of the cable wired exactly the same. And typically the wiring standard for a straight-through cable is the TIA-568B standard. So how is a crossover cable wired? Well, with the crossover cable, one end is wired with the TIA-568B standard, and the other end is wired with the TIA-568A standard. And that's it. So what's the easiest way to make a crossover cable? Well, if you have a patch cable or straight-through cable laying around, this process is pretty easy. So simply cut off one of the RJ45 connectors from the patch cable. It doesn't matter which side. And now you're going to wire this side to the TIA-568A standard. And I'll show you exactly how I do it. So first, use wire strippers to remove about an inch of the protective shielding. And here are the twisted wires. Next, you want to cut this white string off. Next, you want to unravel all the wires. Get them nice and straightened out. Next, you want to slide a boot over. This boot protects the RJ45 connector. And just kind of looks good too although it's not necessary. So next you want to go ahead and line up all eight wires in the TIA-568A diagram. And once you get these lined up, you can then insert the wires into a new RJ45 connector. Push the wires in as far as they'll go. Next, use a crimping tool to finish the job. Next, slide the boot over the RJ45 connector, and you're done. You now have a crossover cable. Like I said before, you can use a crossover cable to connect two computers, or two switches, or two routers. Crossover cables are used to connect like devices. And straight through cables are used to connect unlike devices. Well guys, we're all done here. I hope this video helps you understand crossover cables and what they're used for. And as usual, I wanna thank you for watching. And remember, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, Hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thanks again for watching.